I suppose for me, I grew up in the uh, western part of Virginia, in the mountains. I uh, spent a lot of time outdoors as a, uh, as a boy and a young man. And uh, when my wife and I got married, I think we always aspired to move to a place where we could spend the majority of our time outdoors. And um, this was that place for us. <laughs> And we have four sons now and we've raised them pretty much outside as much as they can be and as we can be and it definitely defines us as a couple being outside it's the centerpiece we met outside covered in dirt and sweat <laughs> <laughs> we've hiked outside now we farm outside i mean just that earth-centered piece is that we feel the most connected to each other and our sons when we're outside uh, working in front of a computer and in meeting rooms all day, uh, that's fairly intense and fairly, um, uh, it can be stressful at times, I suppose. And being able to come home and uh, just see the kids out on the farm, enjoying the outdoors, draws me outdoors immediately. And uh, seeing my wife outside, um, I think that's also inviting. <laughs> So it's just a great balance. Uh, it's a two very different ends of the scale, but um, a very uh, stark contrast between my daytime job and <laughs> and what I do on the weekends and a after work. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it's it's great. It gets me outside for reasons that I would normally not go outside. Um, I think it's neat how we spend our time differently outside so that our boys can see the different ways you can play outside. When I'm in the garden, the way a child sees it is she's playing. And when he's out chopping wood in the backwoods, he's playing. So we just we really play off of each other in the way that we utilize our property and we utilize the earth. And then when I need some extra heavy lifting, he'll gladly move a whole dump truck load of compost for me by hand. <laughs> so there's an exercise component. Yes. <laughs> we enjoy exercising and uh, and it's nice to get outside and just do something. Yeah, manual labor is just, I don't know, something about it that's extremely um, satisfying and and just clears your mind. There's something to be said mm -hmm. for uh, <laughs> sometimes a highly redundant task <laughs> yeah. that, uh, that just involves grit and uh, you know hours of being out and you, th you can think about a lot you know cl clear your mind and um, typically when you come back in you relax uh, from my point of view and I know it's different in different relationships uh, I as much as I grew up outdoors I the farming aspect to me was a new thing uh, so I, I spent outdoor my time outdoors primarily for recreational purposes um, and to <laughs> you know the animals, the food growth. To me, this was all for, this was all foreign. And uh, over time, I think what happened is um, my wife slowly chipped away at my reservations <laughs> for adding <laughs> these things to our to our property and our lifestyle. And uh, you know, uh, now I don't question it. It's just something. It's a part of who we are and what we do, and um, part of the family the animals, the, uh, the food growth. Yeah, I couldn't imagine at this point living without it. Mm -hmm. And it's, I think as a couple, you, you kind of honor who, where you came from and he grew up in the mountains hiking, backpacking, and I grew up dairy farming, spending summers on the farm with my grandparents and wanting to carry that with me into my adulthood. And he really was like, well, if that's what you want to do, and do it. I mean, at the end of the day, you are you're still you still have to have your own sense of self in a couple in a relationship. And I think a lot of couples don't quite get that until they really take some time to think about what that means. Um, and I think it's hard to find that sense of self and your coexistence together unless you're outside. You have a lot of time to think and ponder those things. So we really play off of each other well in that regard.